So finally, we can put all this together and start relating it to airfoils. So the Kutta-Joukowsky theorem and the generation of lift. So we have that the lift per unit span is rho infinity v infinity times the circulation. Now this was developed for a circular cylinder. But it actually applies to any body shape at all. So this might seem remarkable, and it's possible to show mathematically, which is a bit beyond the scope of this course. There's a good physical way that you can argue this, though, and that you'll have to do as one of the homework problems for homework number one. But for now, let's just look at it this way. We've got an in, uh, incoming flow in the free stream, rho infinity, v infinity. We have some contour over here call contour B. And then we have an airfoil over here. Which is generating some lift per unit span. And the streamlines around it maybe look something like this. We have another contour of any shape at all, but that completely surrounds the airfoil, then if we integrate around contour B, the velocity dot ds will be zero, but if we integrate around contour A, the velocity dot ds will equal the circulation. So why does this work? Why does it not matter that we don't have a cylinder in here? Well, one way to think about it is that we can show that you can get the flow over an airfoil by distributing vortices all along the surface. And so one way you can think about this is that if there were many small uh, vortices and you took a contour around all of them, the total circulation would be the sum of the circulation of those vortices. Um, and so if you thought of the airflow shape as being covered with little vortices, you can imagine that you could re get a result in the flow field with the proper shape uh, of streamlines and the total circulation when you took the contour around the entire airfoil will give you the total lift uh, per unit span and that's a way that you can think of that this flow around a rotating cylinder can be a model for the lift generated by an airfoil. Now, there's a critical conceptual caveat. I'm going to write this down. So this circulation theory of lift is an alternative way of thinking about it. Way of 
good thinking. How about lift on an aerodynamic body? The true sources of aerodynamic forces, as you'll recall from our earlier discu discussion, true sources of aerodynamic forces are the pressure and shear stress distribution, as we talked about early on. Okay, but the cut of Joukowsky theorem is a way of expressing the consequences of that surface pressure distribution for inviscid incompressible flow. It's a way of expressing consequences of the pressure distribution for inviscid incompressible flow. Okay. But in practice, we typically want to use the cut of Joukowsky theorem because it's easier to get the circulation than it is to get the surface pressure distribution. Easier to keep the gamma than pressure distribution. So the focus for moving on for now will be on getting the circulation.